Hello, this is um, an update video and also a video of gratitude um, around the topic of the film Tree Song, which uh, the last video I made in this channel was a promotional video in order to raise money to make this short film. Uh, so it's part of my duty to uh, make a video in, in this nature and I'm sorry that I haven't yet. I'm not very good at social media managing and things like that, but uh, I, I regret that I haven't done this sooner, but let me tell you where, where the film is at. We shot it back in April, um, largely here in this garden. There's, there's the tree. There, there she is. Um, it was a fantastic shoot. Um, one of the loveliest times of my life. It's filled, filled with love, so many people. Um, but we'll get to that. Um, it has finished being edited and I did the sound design which I did finish but uh, we, ju we just haven't quite finished the music yet which is the fundamental part of it uh, so uh, Alec and I, Alec the composer and I will have to just do a f some final touches to that and then it will be done um, which I'm over the moon about it's been such a fantastic process um, I think the fact that it wasn't an assessed piece of work for my university course um, has added to the magic of making it. I have a lot of people that I want to uh, thank. Uh, this has been a completely collaborative process and I, I don't feel comfortable saying that this film is mine, certainly not mine alone. The first lot of thank yous are going to come from the list of names on the GoFundMe page of people who donated. I can't believe so many people did, we made £560 on those donations. So, um, well first of all, thank you to Ronak who set up the GoFundMe page. Um, regretfully, he couldn't be here on set with us, but uh, you've been a fantastic producer and it's been great to know you, man, and to briefly live with you. Um, thank you for everything that you've done. And, you know, he didn't just set up the GoFundMe page, he did all sorts. He uh, helped us with the van, he helped us uh, organise the whole thing, do the risk assessments. All the stuff that I would find so overwhelming, he, um, he really... He really helped us out there. Um, so, here are the thank yous. Thank you to Ellie Hayes. I hope you're having a great time in Australia. Thank you to George Carter, Blake Horwill, Marcia Wright. Thank you, Marcia. Thank you to Bogo. Thank you to Vlad. Thank you, Natasha, my mum. Uh, thank you, James Horwill. Uh, thank you, Dom, my dad. Becky, my sister. Thank you, Greg. I hope you're doing well. And Tinica and the family. Um, uh, thank you to Ella Jenkins. I hope that you're doing well as well. And all the other ones are listed as anonymous. And thank you to all the people who donated money without wanting to be known. Also, thank you to everybody who came to um, the gig that um, Ella and I put on uh, way back in March. Uh, there was a, a decent turnout and lots of generous donations. And uh, thank you to Matt, who owns the Moth and, Mo Moth and Moon, who uh, let us play at his venue. Uh, thank you to that man Dave who gave us a hundred pounds and I don't know, have a clue who he is and I, I hope that he gets to see the film in some way. He didn't, I didn't get any contact information from him. Um, I'm not going to name everybody who I can remember who was at the event because uh, I would miss people out but thank you for everyone who came. I, I have an overwhelming amount of gratitude for those of us who have made this film together and in no particular order uh, thank you to Eleanor, the editor, for painting a beautiful piece of art with these frames and f for having such wonderful sensibility of timing and, and understanding the voice of this film and, and making it what it is. It's incredible. Um, thank you to Chloe, the colourist. Uh, you brought new life into it that didn't know we could. Thank you to Emily. Um, I know you're listed as cinematographer but I think you are such a fundamental part in the making of this film that it is it is yours as it is mine and as it is everyone's of course but you, you have such an eye for um, for, for nature and, and, and beauty and um, everybody's everybody's so talented and thank you to uh, thank you to Ella who was our not only our caterer made fantastic food three meals a day which is unheard of on a film set Thank you for also being the creative director and having such a wonderful uh, eye for detail in, in ways that nobody else really would have seen and, you know, being 
just exact enough to make everything seem just just perfect. Um, thank you for everything. Uh, thank you to Jonathan, who uh, kept us on time as a first AD. Uh, and you know, it's great to know you. You're a great guy, and uh, I hope we have dinner sometime soon. Thank you to Jono, um, who. Not, well, first of all, he, he drove here in the van, which is quite a feat from Cornwall all the way up here to Wales. Uh, thank you for assisting in the camera. I know you are, you are a legend with the camera, of course. Um, but also, just as with everybody who I'm talking about, such a fantastic person. I hope you didn't mind staying with my dad. Um, I think he had a great time. I think you did too. And speaking of which... Sten, who also stayed at my dad's house, thank you for being such a, a ray of sunshine and harnessing the power of light in the way that you do. You've really found a knack for it, man. And you're going to go far. Everyone's going to go so far. Thank you to Jack, my dear brother, and Katie, who were both sound on this set. Sound is very important to me, and the two of you were so on the ball and picked everything up just right and... You, you, I mean, I, I couldn't have asked for things to be any better, and I'm sorry for the brief bit of stress we had with the, um, you know, the SD cards, but um, it all it all worked out just brilliantly. Uh, thank you both. Thank you, Shivani, for helping amazingly with catering and also just helping with the atmosphere on set to uh, such an awesome degree. Uh, you know, any room is better with you in it, and you you brought that to this set. Uh, thank you to Isaac and Alec for being fantastic runners, uh, literally running around up and down this hill constantly. Um, uh, you guys are such wonderful bulbs of joy. Um, I hope you had a good time. I hope it was a good experience. And thank you, Alec, on that note, for um, putting so much dedication into the music of this film. Alec, Alec built um, a an electronic aeolian harp specifically for this project which i didn't ask him to do i just found out one day he'd done which is such an amazing amount of effort and we will get this thing done alec and i'm sorry for the radio silence um over the last month or so um it's been a crazy month crazy 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 month i just i'm so worried i'm gonna forget somebody thank you to m gallagher who made our poster for us twice <laughs> Um, you've put so much effort into it and I've never actually met you in person I hope that we do someday uh, but our communication was fantastic and the final poster I've had I've had people gasp when they see it and it really does sell the thing thank you to Matt Noble wherever you may be my dear brother I miss you uh, I, I, I hope to see you soon what can I say what can I say man what can I say you are you are this film. Thank you, Granny, uh, who did such an incredible job of um, acting. You're an actor, Granny. You always were. I think you always should have been. Thank you for all the help with, with my mum and my dad and granddad and uh, my mum's friend Tash, who let people stay at her house. Thank you, Tash. Thank you never for saying you wanted to be part of this project. I'm sorry that you couldn't make it. I hope you had a great time in Switzerland. I've just realised how over the top this might seem, but I, uh, like the gratitude is real, and I don't really care if it comes across. I don't care how it comes across, but I'm, I'm, I just have so much gratitude for. It was an incredible process making this film, and like the outcome is good. I'm happy, and I hope everybody else is happy too. It was just really fun to make, you know, and I hope we can make another one. Um, I, I just like to make everybody who doesn't know aware that um, when you're taking a film around the festival circuit. Uh, one of the things you're encouraged not to do is to upload it uh, on YouTube or whatever straight away for free because uh, festivals tend not to like that. They like to have privilege of um, exclusivity. So it, it won't be put on YouTube for a, for a while. Um, but that, that's just the way it is. I hope that eventually everybody gets to see it. We've come to the end of university now and... Everything is changing in all kinds of crazy ways and who knows what's to come and just hang in there wherever you are and um, if you're going through pain right now just remember that life without pain is called sleepwalking and at least you're, at least you're awake and feeling and being in the world um, and I wish you all the best and I send you love.